Well, my first find this afternoon is a is an old buckle. It was down. I don't know. Let's have a look. It would have been oh, about six, seven inches, I suppose. Uh, it's round. It's not your normal kind of buckle, or maybe it's not a buckle. Maybe it's just a ring. Uh, yeah, I think it's a a ring that would have been fixed into a cart or into a wall to tether something to. Uh, that's what it is, it's a iron ring. Okay, well, down here we have a roll of lead. It could be a Roman curse, uh, but I seriously doubt it. I'm not going to open it now, we'll open it later, see what's inside, but uh, just a roll of lead. Moving on. Well, about six inches down, got something here, looks like a um, a kind of a two shilling, but um, it's uh, it's not silver by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, well, it looks like a, either a Queen Elizabeth or George the Sixth. Yeah, George the Sixth. Uh, Nineteen fifty-two shilling. Okay, moving on to the next. Well, this is nothing, but it's um, it's a piece of bronze. It's a work piece of bronze. It's not been made into a point or anything like that because it's been snapped off there. But that's been worked and um, and hammered. I can see where it's been cut there. It's um, it's not anything, but it just indicates that there is still stuff on this site that I have missed. Um, just up here. Uh, just in that corner, I found um, some zoomorphic strap ends. They were uh, Saxon stroke early medieval. I uh, found two of them almost together within about uh, five or six feet of each other, right in that corner there. Um, so this is a bit of a slope. I just found the two shillings uh, just there and I've just walked here. I've been over here several, several, I mean, maybe hundreds of times, um, but you still find bits and pieces, but that's a piece of bronze that has been worked and, uh, you know, hammered. So I'm gonna um, just take that as an indication. There's still more stuff on this uh, site. The Roman coin I found the in the last video is the other side of those trees, but now at the moment, the grass is way too long. I mean, it's bad enough here. Um, I don't know where the horses are, they normally chew it down, but they must be in the other couple of fields over there. But um, anyway, the uh, the Roman coin was found just over the other side of those trees. There's a stream running through there, I've walked up the stream even today looking for stuff. Uh, nothing there. Um, junk, tin cans and the like. But we're just going to work this area here. I haven't got too long, so I'm going to just work this area with the short grasses, see what we can find. Moving on. I found some pot men's in my time, but uh, this is the tiniest one I found. That is small for a pot men. I've normally found them about, you know, about that big. But that is a tiny, tiny pot men. You can see uh, the uh, join where the, the metal or pot would have been. But that's what that is. It's a lead pot mend. Okay, moving on. So what we've got here, uh, down about six, seven inches, it's in two parts. It, uh, there's that part and that part, it looks like a bit of farm machinery of some sort. Uh, not sure, that's bent over. Uh, I'm sure it's impossible to identify, but maybe somebody's got an idea. Uh, maybe possible to identify, but I'm sure that somebody's got an idea what that is. I'll put the two parts side by side, there they go. And if anybody's got an idea, please let me know. Okay, yeah, moving down on. Down there, I don't know, four or five inches, come up on the last shovel full, looks like a penny, quite a modern pre-decimal, I should imagine. Uh, we'll have a little look. Uh, can't get anything off it just yet. I'll come back to you when I've got something on it. I think it's a 2P, it's a modern 2P. I'm beginning to see it now. Okay, we'll have a little try. Oh no, it's uh, not a clue. We'll... Uh, it's a halfpenny, not a penny. Um, can't see whose it is. It's uh, C. Britannia, 
Um, it could be a Victorian, Georgian, whatever. It's, it's all gone. You can't see. Well, okay. down there, <laughs> one one p. There you go. Um, well, I don't believe it. It's a little pre-decimal. No, it's not. It's another one pence. I have found another one pence. That's all I'm finding. What's happening? One penny. Would you believe it? I have found thousands well, of... Well, just under the surface there, uh, this tiny little tin thing, but uh, it actually looks like a uh, bird, it looks like he's got a bird's head and it's um, I'm not sure what that is, I'll clean that up see his beak and his eye and then it comes down um, so I'm not sure what that is, it's not old, it's nothing important but uh, just interesting to see what that is ok we'll check it out and we'll let you know little o-ring uh, copper alloy could be anything from a curtain ring to an old ring off a piece of farm machinery. Uh, no idea. But that's it. A little well, old ring. down there, five inches, six inches, one little uh, buckle. Uh, I would say 17, 18 hundreds. We'll check it out. Uh, copper, bronze. No, it's not bronze. It's uh, Coppery brassy. I'm looking at a copper alloy, I suppose. Uh, anyway, nice little buckle. We'll check that out and uh, put something up on the on the video. Okay, moving on. Well, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, as a wild guess, it looks like either a magnifying glass holder. You see the handle there. The handle's broken, or a monocle that you put against your eye but that's the kind of thing it seems to be it's uh, obviously round, it's copper alloy it's not that old, I would put it uh, Victorian, something like that even later than that maybe um, it's got some some design on the handle but that, that kind of thing, you know, either for um, viewing of some sort, but there doesn't seem to be any rim on the inside uh, for the glass to be fixed. So I ha I'm not sure. I'll have to check that out and uh, come back to you on that. Okay, on to the next. Well, I found a uh, lead weight. There's a hole all the way through it. Um, it's uh, could be a loom weight but I suspect it's a weight off a net or something like that to catch uh, animals, rabbits, whatever uh, but that is a, uh, a lead weight the, the lead is not particularly old um, maybe I don't know a couple of hundred years maybe or a hundred years but uh, that is a lead weight that would have been attached to a net of so or something uh, to trap animals uh, can't think of it being anything more than that. Okay, moving on to the next. Next find is a bit of a pot mend. You can see where it uh, was poured and hammered and the point where the uh, pot would have been or whatever it was. But that's some sort of pot mend. I found stacks of these recently, I don't know. Uh, all different types and shapes and sizes, but uh, that is a pot mend anyway. Okay, well, the next moving. find is a blade of some sort that is very sharp along that edge. Um, it, you can see it had a handle attached there which is broken. Uh, so whether it's a blade off a grass cutting machine or a knife or... Uh, I've got no idea, but uh, anyway, it's not very old, but it's a find. Okay. Moving on to the well, my next find is a spoon bowl, uh, very thin. Um, it's uh, coppice, not pewter. 
um, but a little teaspoon bowl. You can see where the handle would have been attached there, come up there, but that is one tiny, very thin um, teaspoon. Well, next find, uh, a little rain guide, a um, bit bent and squashed, but that is a, a rain guide without a shadow of a doubt. Okay, moving on. I have what seems to be uh, the remains of a uh, horse brass. You can see the, uh, the shape on it. I'm going to try and straighten it out, see if there's any writing on it. Uh, it'll most probably crack and break in half, but uh, worth a look anyway. I can't see anything written on it, but uh, just these straightening out. Uh, I'll get a block of wood and a hammer, and we'll try and square that out. But it's a nice shield shape um, horse brass. Well, okay, the end of a pewter fork or spoon, I suspect. It looks like a fork end. Um, you can see the round bit there would have come down here. But uh, bit, bit, it's uh, just a bit, not the complete thing. Okay, moving on. Well, not sure what this is. Uh, it's obviously a cover of something. It's got two small holes there. Uh, line design in the middle. And uh, it looks like, I was going to suggest a cover of something, but I uh, don't think it's that either. Um, no idea. Anyway, it's box shaped and it's obviously got uh, lugs either side and in the, in the inside. And uh, not at all sure what that is. Um, it had pins in there, they look like uh, iron pins, but this is like uh, a copper alloy kind of stuff. So I'm not sure what that is. If anybody's got any ideas, uh, let me know. Just show you the inside. Okay, well, one old 18th century uh, thimble. The top's gone. Uh, but uh, you can see the decoration around the side. I would say that's uh, 18th century, um, 1700s uh, and whatever. But that's what that is, I think. Uh, it's an 18th century thimble. Okay, moving on. <laughs>